Hello Virgo, welcome back to your monthly zodiac greetings. This is Risa here. I hope you had a wonderful month last month and are gearing up for June, which hopefully promises some nice warm days and a beautiful summer ahead. This video is intended for those of you that have your sun, your moon, and your ascendant sign or your rising sign and the sign of Virgo. So without further ado, let's get to the reading. First of all, you have the judgment card on the bottom of the deck after I shuffled and shuffled and shuffled. So that tells me that you're either judging yourself too harshly for some of your past decisions or some of the things that have transcribed in your life or you're judging others harshly. It's also a card of endings and beginnings. It's a card of coming out of darkness or coming out of a time when you have been confused or not seeing things clearly or second-guessing yourself, not trusting yourself enough, not having enough faith. So the angels are calling you out to start anew, to begin fresh, to move away from the darkness or the death of your forward movement when it comes to spirituality and to start again, start fresh, something new that begins. All right, guys, let's see what is showing for you in your financial sector. Let's see what's happening where your work or self-employment is concerned. If you are single, we'll see what cards show up for you if you're in a relationship. And then we're going to pull one card for the surprise that aids you in the month of June and for the card that blocks you as you move forward. So there's some things apparently that you're trying to manifest that you've had a hard time manifesting and during the month of June they still will not be full manifestation but continue to work on it because you will be able to manifest it but later on. At this time it's being blocked. So when it comes to your money you have the justice card in reverse so if you have a legal case going on, you're not being judged fairly, there may be blocks or delays in the money that's coming in. There's You also have the King of Cups in reverse, so you may be dealing with a boss or someone that's not wanting to advance you or help you either get a raise or gain more money when it comes to your job. So if you're trying for a raise, I don't think you're going to get it in the month of June. If you're hoping for another position at your job, it's not happening. If you have your own business, make sure that your contracts are signed properly and that everything is going in the right direction so that you don't end up having to pay more for something that you may have missed. So I would have to say, Virgo, for you guys during the month of June, you need to buckle down. Make sure you're not spending too much money because there could be something legal, a contract, or maybe something that happens as you're driving, you might get a ticket. So be careful, okay? Because it could be either a counselor or someone that you'll have to deal with due to your finances in the month of June. Now, when it comes to your business, your work, what you're trying to achieve, you're not going to be very generous at work or others at work are not going to be very generous towards you. There might be a bit of gossip or manipulation that's going on at work. Try to steer clear of that and just stay focused on doing your work, okay? When it comes to your self-employment or your own business, again, there may be some things that you are missing that may throw your money out of balance or your work. So stay focused on what you're doing and what you're trying to manifest. All right, now if you're single, there may be children that are affecting your life. So you could have children from a previous relationship and maybe you're spending more time with them during this period or during the month of June that you will getting out and being on your own and trying to either meet someone new but there is someone out there that you will see as a person that's very strong or maybe a person that other people look to it may be a Leo or it may be someone that's an earth sign you may meet this person while you're out while you're at a carnival um, If you're single, there could be a person that's coming into your life that may have other people that are already admiring him or wanting to go out with him or with her. So keep that in mind. 
maybe you should stay home if you have children and kind of focus on that for the month of June because you may um, you may need to do that as well also if you have any pets you need to focus on them because you may be able to receive some healing and some love from them there will be somebody that you work well together. You may meet this person at, at the job as well. There's somebody that stands out to other people, that seems to be very strong in their leadership skills or someone that's physically strong that may work out. You may meet this person while you're working out as well or in a gym situation. So if you're single and you get out there, try to uh, sign up for gyms or stay focused with your job maybe new people that come in someone that you don't really know but that person is going to have a lot of suitors already so um, make sure that it's someone that has a lot of things in common with you so that you don't waste time or be disappointed if he chooses someone else for those of you that are in a relationship it's time for you to spend some time with your partner retreat by yourselves forget the computer forget the phone in the drawer Try to spend quality time with your partner during the month of June. It's being advised to listen to your intuition because your partner may be retreating. Your partner uh, may think that you're not paying them enough attention. So listen to your intuition as it will guide you to places or things or activities that you need to, to spend your time doing with your partner so that you too can um, close the gap if there's been something a little bit different that's going on in your relationship or if you feel that your partner's moving away from you a bit just try to stay focused keep your opinions to yourself at this time and listen to your intuition about what direction you should take with with your partner where you should go and the things that you should do during this month all right the energy that is going to assist you during the month of June is your partnership, your partnership skills, your partners. They're going to be very supportive. You need to spend more quality time with them. For those of you that are single, there could be a new person that comes into your life, so stay focused on that as well. Romance is going to be highlighted for you for the month of June. Something that blocks you, this is the Lady of Lightning, surprises, sometimes shock. A total paradigm shift so this is the equivalent of the tower card in the tarot deck in this deck it's about being surprised so there's either a surprise or something that's shocking that really throws you off balance during the month of June or there's a surprise or something that's coming that's being blocked at this time that you may not receive it till the month of July something that that will change the way that you think completely so this could be a new person that steps into your life that can totally throw you off balance that could happen very easily for those of you that are single and for those of you that are in a relationship if a new soulmate comes into your life then you need to really uh, make sure that the relationship that you're in that's where using your intuition is going to come in very handy to follow your intuitive guidance because sometimes we are bored we get fall into a rut in our relationships and a new person steps in and we kind of lose our balance so you need to stay focused remember retreat is highlighted for you and your partner if those of, for those of you that are thinking about marriage you will have that on your mind when you spend some time alone with with your partner you need to converse about that and just be careful if you are in a relationship or if you are in a relationship that you are leaving soon thereafter a new partner will step into your life so be prepared for that that they may throw you a bit off balance all right guys now for the interactive part I'm gonna pull a card from angels ask so whatever you need an answer to ask the Oracle while I shuffle a card of recovery did come out already and there went another one so there's something that you have lost that you may recover uh, whether it's your health a job or something that you have been trying to find there could be a recovery of it or maybe it's a feeling so we'll see you need to communicate clearly with your soulmate or your partners or people that have interactions with you because communication is going to be highlighted for you in the month of June alright guys you ready 
those cards right there are all answers to your questions. So here's another one. Here's your sign. Don't stop. So whatever you've asked the oracle, please continue down that path. Remember that communication is going to be a key to achieving the things that you want. And for some of you, it'll be the recovery of something that you have lost that you're asking for it again, and it is coming. All right, guys, I do love you. If you would like a private reading with me, please contact me via my email, risesealingarts11 at gmail.com. I will talk to you again next month, God willing. Bye for now.